and what are your top priorities? I mean, what do you think the, par the Rava can achieve before New Year's? Is there uh, something that can uh, be like done? We, we already registered the law on the on the immunity, MPs' immunity, which is one of the crucial cases where lots of businessmen went to Parliament mm. not to work on the development of Ukraine, but to, re to, to have some kind of well, immunity on the criminal prosecution. So we already registered And that's it. something not everyone knows, that MPs in, in Ukraine traditionally have immunity from, uh, from prosecution. Not yes, prosecution. yes. <laughs> no, we, we, we're not registered. We try, we, we, because yeah. it's a, it's, we should change the constitution. We, we started the procedure to, to sign the, to have the, to collect the signature for these amendments of the constitution, and we are trying to Push them through. But do you think that's possible before New Year's? Can that uh, be done? I quickly? think we should. We should. We should possibly. I don't think that we will. Uh, you know, we will. We will adopt this law, but we will start this process already before the New Year. Hmm. We will be able to do this. To start to work towards. That. Actually, yeah. I want to um, address our viewers right now. And again, if you want, if you have any questions to our guests or any comments, you can go on Twitter, tweet with Hromatsky hashtag, and we will definitely profile you to uh, tweets. And actually, w what I want to profile right now is um, that your comment about Yulia Tymoshenko being a peacemaker, in possible peacemaker in a new parliament, some people, um, like for example, our regular viewer Nikolai Holmov, he's a famous blogger from Odessa, he called it comedy night on Romanske, um, but uh, because of, I think because of uh, really harsh legacy of previous parliament and their inability to find compromises. And I think if we have time for just last question on that uh, particular topic, and I, I won't go back to the uh, opposition, I want to go back to those over 100 MPs in Ukrainian mm -hmm. parliament. Uh, over last years or, or even over last decade, this, uh, um, this um, really toxic atmosphere of corruption was present in the Ukrainian parliament. Um, is there any kind of fear that having so, mu so much unallied MPs in the parliament will create this pool for possible corruption uh, because you can buy those votes really easily because they are not inside fractions? That's what actually happened many times before even with people in fractions, but now you have no absolutely legal obligation. You can vote whatever you want if you're an independent uh, MPs and you have 100 votes that you can actually buy. And let's be frank about it, buying, uh, buying votes in Ukrainian parliament is very popular uh, tradition for, you know, for over a decade or even more. You know, like one of the reasons why the, the previous par parliament bought the votes is that they don't, didn't have enough, to, they didn't have 226 votes mm -hmm. to, to pass the law. That's why there was some, you know, parliamentary group that tried to, you know, par parasitize on, on the, but now we have lots of votes, it, like nobody needs to do this. And I would, uh, it, it, it would be interesting to see that there are, there are some people who voted for so-called, you know, dictatorship laws. So if they will vote for some, to support some laws and, and other parties reject, except it will be a big, huge scandal.